Hi, my baby. Sending love and light. How are you? I'm doing good. And I'm just ready to tap in with you all. Today, I want to do something different. I usually do videos based off my notes. But today, I've been struggling, you know, trying to get my message across with what I was trying to do. So, I'm just going to do something different. When you want different, you got to do different. <laughs> and I wanted to get this video out, so I just decided to come to you all and be transparent. Um, What's going on? What's going on? I'm feeling good today. I got up. I did my hair. I did some cleaning around the house. I made myself breakfast. And now I'm just eager to get some information out to you all. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to get it done. <laughs> no, but it's very important to show up even when you don't know how, even when you don't want to. Like I said, I didn't know what I was going to talk about today, but I just decided to get on anyway. And it was like, whatever comes out my mouth is meant to be said. <laughs> um, I've been going through some stuff lately, y'all. When I say people been playing with me. But I can honestly say when you're going through a transition in your life and you're trying to do a lot of things better and differently and trying to become better, it's going to be a lot of things that try to be like, oh, but you got to be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it be some people will try to come back from your past that, you know, you don't want to deal with any longer. You have situations maybe in family going on, situations maybe at work going on, situations, you know, you just have situations all the board. And it's very, very important to stay grounded when these things are going on. I can honestly say my affirmations have helped me reading before I go to sleep and as I wake up have helped me journaling as I wake up and before I go to sleep has helped me in many, many ways. Um, also speaking to coaches, also listening to podcasts and different things, it it helps you a long way. When I say <laughs> it's been hot out here, I've just been wanting to lay around the house and not do anything, get anything done because it's just been hot. But I miss you all. <laughs> And when I say I like getting with you all, I like talking. I like I like sharing information. I um I, I just like sharing. I like I don't know. I like I like this. <laughs> it's it's been a lot, but you just gotta keep pushing. How are you showing up when you don't want to show up? How are you showing up? Cause it matters. If you don't show up, that matters. You have to show up. You have to show up every day. Like I said, even when you don't want to, if you got to drag yourself up out that bed, that's what you better do. It's going to get easier as you be consistent and stay disciplined in certain situations. It becomes much and much easier to, to do those things. Make you a little morning routine. Like I said, I get up, I journal, I do my affirmations, I meditate a little bit. I even, you know, take my daughter to the bus side. So that's a little bit of exercise to get my body up and moving around and make me, you know, want to keep moving. You got to start somewhere. <laughs> you have to start somewhere. And it's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. It does. It does. I used to feel like, oh, I have to do this and do this and do this and do this and do this. And if this not done correctly, it's not going to end. No, I had to calm down. Calm down one thing at a time one day at a time but you have to stay consistent you have to stay consistent because if you don't stay consistent it will never get done and i did learn that also it's a process it's a process just like healing is a process half of the time while you're trying to do something different you're in your healing stages anyway so it's already gonna be hard so sometimes you just got to be patient with yourself patience is key Patience is everything. Be patient with yourself. Be understanding to yourself. Be vulnerable with yourself. It'll all pay off. It will all pay off in the end. So, we gonna keep growing, keep glowing, you know, <laughs> and we gonna get it done. 
Are you saying your affirmations? Are you journaling? Are you reading? Are you doing something productive in your day to where it's changing the outcome of your situation? We have to want to do different to get different. We have to want it. We have to want it. It has to be stuck in our mind like this. you have to decide in your mind this is what i want to do and i'm going to move forward and then the next step is how am i going to do it how am i going to do it what do i have what resources do i have how can i do this how can i do that do i need to go here do i need to go there what's next so you just have to know your situation know who you are and what your heart desires because that's the most important part of it all knowing yourself and knowing what you want knowing what you need first knowing what you need because we can want a lot of things but also when you really tap into yourself those things will come out also it's a process <laughs> be willing to go through the process because it'll all be for the better at the end of the day Again, I'm sending love and light. I can't wait to talk to you all again. I love you. Mwah.